Hey friends, Randy here, and welcome back to restoring the circus pinball machine. Now, this is why it's taking me so long. Last time we worked on it was 9.26, and now it's 10.22. So, it's four weeks, three weekends I had to skip. One, my family came, so I had to spend time with them. Second one, I went and ran over hell to get pinball machines. And the third one, um, just kind of got away from me, actually family stuff and busy so anyway we got this where we left off last time I've wiped it down really good with a rag and attack cloth I can't do it with naphtha because naphtha takes off the damn paint that I put on so next time I need to wear gloves when I'm painting so I don't get oil all over it so we got it all set up we got our kill room back up which it's like 95 degrees in this damn garage so I'm sweating like crazy but I only got one drop of sweat on there, but I cleaned it off. So we got the compressor charged up right here. We got my gun right there. So I'm gonna put the thing back together, fill it up and spray. Make sure you wear your PPE when you're doing this because this stuff's pretty toxic. We're clear coating with this stuff. And if you smell sweet stuff, that's the cyanide, so. All right, we're gonna do three coats. We're gonna do one tonight, it's Friday night. One early tomorrow morning, which will be Saturday morning, and one Saturday afternoon slash night. And we're gonna do our sanding, uh, whatever's in between them. So hopefully by the end of it, we'll have a nice flat, and then when we do our sanding ladder at the end, it'll be nice and smooth. And then we can set it in that mess of shit over there for a good five weeks, let it cure, and then we'll buff it out and we'll be almost done with this thing. So, not sure how much I'm gonna film because uh, there's only me doing this and it's hard to set stuff up, uh, but we'll give it a shot and see, we'll give you good glimpses as we go along. So I got my, my bunny suit, I got my respirator, I got some goggles that are over there. So we're gonna put this together. We're gonna spray some lacquer thinner through it to clean it out, make sure it's good. And then we're gonna go for it. Oh, crap, I almost forgot, I gotta level it. Stick some pennies under sides. See, you guys are good for something. So let's do that and then we'll paint. Okay, friends, sorry, I've got my thing on. So I can't really talk very much, but I don't know. Let's see if we can get the flash. That's better. It looks awesome. First coat did amazing. I did remember to put the damn bulbs in this time. So, it is currently 5.37. So we'll try and get out here early tomorrow morning. Do some sanding. See if we can get it flat and then spray the next coat. So, wish us luck. So this is after 320 grit, because I didn't have any 220. But you can see, it looks pretty good. I mean, the shiny spots, like right here, is where there's low spots, or a raised spot around the insert, or the cup there. And there's not a lot, actually, some back here. We need to hit that again before we move on to the next grid. But that's what we're doing. We're sanding it flat so the tall spots get down. 
and then we sand the, the shiny spots. And as we build up more layers, it will hopefully flatten everything perfect. The inserts you can see, I, they're close, but they're not my best work. So hopefully on the next one, we can figure out how to seal the ring around them a little better. Like that one's really bad. But not terrible. I wish I had a little higher grit. It <laughs> just a lot easier. So do a little bit more with that, and then we'll move up 600 and then 800. And then we'll spray the second coat. All right, here we are after 800 or 600. Looks pretty damn good. As far as getting flat. So I'm gonna hit it lightly with an 800. And then we'll put a little bit of the shiny things in the inserts so that it sticks in the shooter rod and then spray it. All right, here we are with 800. Might hit that a little bit. Not too terrible. Maybe clean it with naphtha and then we'll spray it. This is bad. I think I got in the, through my paint right here because I'm so hot. But this is from bubbles in your damn eyedropper clear coat when you're filling inserts. So other than that, not terrible. So I might hit them a little bit more and hopefully it'll at least not show up like that so all right all right there's a second coat looks pretty damn good if i do say so myself so you can use these pennies to level it out There's about a 50-50 chance I dropped a bead of sweat somewhere in here when I was painting because it's hot as balls out here. But I hope it didn't. I hope it went on the ground. So we'll leave this and come back tonight and sand and spray coat three and then tomorrow paint or sand and be done. So it's Almost 9, I got painted about uh, 9.30, or almost 10, I got painted about 9.30. So it took me a minute to clean up. So, all right, let's get out of here so I can take this mask off for this hot. Here's after that 320 sand, after the second coat, obviously. It's not bad, a little dirty, it needs to be cleaned, but pretty flat. There's still a little couple places, but it's a lot minor -er than it was the first time. A little over here, too. But it looks pretty good. A little soft i probably should have waited a little bit longer to sand but other than that it looks pretty good so we're going to hit it with the 600 and then the 800 and then spray the third coat and let me tell you next time i do this i'm getting one of them air sanders Whew, it's exhausting and her a little interesting so that one's not as bad as that one all right let's do this 
Okay, got the third coat on. Looks pretty good. So we'll let this dry till tomorrow. Then we will do our sanding cascade. And that's just got to sit for five weeks. So on this last one, I don't think we're going to start with the 320. We'll, we'll think about it. But I think we're going to start with the, the 600 and work our way up just because, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It just doesn't seem like it needs that much taken off. You know, it's pretty smooth. So... So if it's not flat by now, it's not getting there. All right. We shall see you manana. Okay, friends, it's about 11 o'clock a.m. the next day. As you can see, it looks pretty good. Hell, if you were lazy, you could probably just leave it like this. For an EM, it looks awesome. But... You can see as I wave across that light, it's got little bubbles and peaks in the valleys here and there from the, you know, little globules as you spray. So we're going to see if we can't get those out. So what we're going to do is hit it with 800, 1000, 1500, and then 2000. I'm gonna knock over all these back glasses I got here, make it get painted. All right, let's see what we got. So there's 600, or 800. All right, we got 1,000, 2,000, more 1,000, 1,500, yeah. So we'll do that. And then we're gonna let this bad boy dry for five weeks. Rather cure for five weeks so that it's really nice and hard before we reassemble it. So this is a good one to start with. We will have some, you know, improvements we can make next time. Because again, this is the first time I've ever attempted to clear a play field, let alone use a spray gun. And I think it came out pretty good. The only problems were not from that, it was from filling in inserts. So. Next time, we'll see if we can use a different technique and do that better. Um, but yeah, after it cures, we're going to have to go and take a drill bit and drill out each one of these holes, get all the shit out of it. Take a Dremel and go around the inside of all these. Um, there's a little bit that's got like fingers on it to scrape like around there so that the teeth doesn't bite into the clear coat and crack it. I mean, it sounds like a lot, not too much. Then we'll have to clean out all these light sockets and potentially use a Dremel in there really lightly to get all the crap from the first time I sprayed it and forgot to put lights in it. And then we will take this buffer over here somewhere that I bought right there. And the three polishes, which I guess are in the house. And then we'll po po polish it and buff it up into a a mirror shine, which is kind of unnecessary on an EM, but I want to see what I can do, so it's good. Let's get started. Okay, just for reference, this is where we're starting from. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. One thousand. One thousand. Let me tell you, this freaking hand sanding is for the birds. I'm getting me that power sander next time. 
1500. All the streaks you see are more from cleaning it than anything. Needs to be a little cleaner, which we'll do at the end. A couple of coats of nap things so. here. Not bad. It's pretty good. All right, it's 15. Let's do 2,000. It's as high as we're gonna go with the sandpaper. All right, here's 2,000. Quit dripping and splitting sweat on it. We'll be all right. Trying to find that light. All right. Looks really good, I think. Can't get the angle. You can see it's not perfect, but not terrible. So, I guess, like I said, we gotta let it cure. Hold on. Yes, that is sweet. Gross. Okay, yeah, it's pretty hot in here, and my mask line is there. Look, boob sweat. So anyway, so like I said, if I had to do this again, I would definitely get a damn auto sander that's good for wet dry, because this is obnoxiously tough. So it looks good. So it is October 24th. So that puts us right around Thanksgiving. So given how bad I am at posting videos on time, you may not even see a gap between now and then when we start polishing. But I do need to go through the play field parts right there Make sure nothing's broken. Um, and if it is, we'll have to see. I don't have any crusty white stuff, so we have to replace everything, which is going to suck. I do, however, need pop bumpers, caps. I swore I ordered them, but I guess I didn't. So that sucks. I bought pop bumpers and passive bumpers, or whatever they are. And then we'll get to get that back out, rebuild the play field, and then we'll be done. Get it back in the machine and do some product testing. It'd be nice to have one in the bank, finally, on the tube, you know? Anyway, let me know what you think. And keep it real. We'll see you next time. I sure appreciate you watching. And if you do this stuff, let me know. I'm curious. I know a few people, but there's not too many that go through this level of detail. Anyway, again, thanks for watching.